my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and welcome to another kind of wax reading now it's not the kind of kind of wax reading where we allow the candle to burn out and then we interpret the wax formation it's not that and we're actually um interpreting um the candle dripping into the water so i have my little tray here um and it's filled with holy water because i get my there's a beautiful cathedral on the hill called Mount St. Benedict. So I go there and I collect holy water. So the water is blessed water. I'm from the monks up there. And we are going to be asking, um, just checking out your person, what's happening to them spiritually, what's going on in their headspace. I have a candle that represents um, every um, different question that we're going to be asking what's happening in their heart space what's happening with them sexually and then what's happening in their environment um and you know those root chakra issues okay now whatever comes up that we need clarification on i'm going to go into the tarot in the extended reading okay um and ask questions about and and, and clarify some of the things that may come out now remember i am reading yes but you are also a reader so whatever formations you see um, in the wax, they are relevant for you. And that's why I kind of position the camera so you guys would have a close up. So let's start spiritually. What's happening with your person spiritually right now? Okay, so let me light it. Oh. Now this is very interesting for the persons who have watched my other two candle wax readings, right? Because with the other two candle wax readings, this flame was a flame that was burning the lowest. In fact, I think the last one, I think it did not, it did not even light or something like that. But today it is burning so bright. So already we have um, a message. Whatever's happening, your person's having some kind of activations, some kind of big spiritual awakening that's happened. It's like they're becoming unafraid to express um, their spirituality, their spiritual beliefs. Um, they may be seeking enlightenment right now. They may have spirit guides working with them, getting a lot of downloads. But this is a, definitely a big change from, I think, our last reading. So I think one of the questions that we're going to ask, um, let's see if it's going to be sustained. <laughs> one of the questions that we're probably going to ask in the extended reading um, is what has changed, okay? What has changed? All right, so let me see. What is the message here? So what I'm seeing here is all the time your person was getting like little downloads here and there. Okay. People were coming to them, giving them little messages. And at first they thought um, it was a bit of a coincidence. Um, then I think they started doing some research online and then they're like, mm, all right. But they weren't really putting um, the information together. And then I think they started having a lot of synchronicities. And all of a sudden things started making sense. They just started making like links. Okay. Till like, you know, they started following like little bread, breadcrumbs that spirit started, you know, leaving for them. So now everything is coalescing. Now, weirdly enough, the shape that is um, coming out here uh, reminds me of a scorpion tail. So this is the energy of eighth house is the energy of Scorpio, which is the energy of death, sex and transformation. And I think that's exactly what's happening with your person right now. They're going through a powerful transformation and all the things that they taught were true um it looks like it's just been set aside and there's this new set of beliefs that are kind of coalescing and coming together i'm also getting that because of your person's newfound spiritual beliefs spiritual leanings um they're also persons that are kind of distancing themselves from your person but your person really doesn't care i think they're feeling very passionate about you right now and weirdly enough it's like a kind of sacred sexuality whatever they're feeling sexually is activating or propelling their transformation even further it's like the sexual link that they have with you makes them believe guys this is what i'm getting because i am definitely seeing scorpio energy here um i'm also getting that they may have found 
persons who share their spiritual beliefs. It's like they're getting a new group of friends. That's what I'm getting. And creating new alliances. And this is forming a rift in their family group. Um, I'm also getting, and it's also forming a rift between them and a third party because I see three distinct factions. That's what I heard, girls, guys, whoever's watching. Factions, one, two, three. There's so many people involved, so many people looking on um, at your person's transformation. And it's like everybody has something to say. Um, it looks like there's a particular group that might be gossiping about your person and they don't have good intentions because as soon as I started seeing, saying that, um, the purple right here on this one started to get even dark and almost looking black. So there are some people who don't have good intentions from your person. Some of um, you, your person may be on the um, spiritual attack right now because the kind of what's just there. Oh gosh, I hope you're seeing it. Um, it's getting very, very dark colored. Okay, it's no longer scattered. It's very concentrated. Um, so if you can send your person positive energy, um, if your person, um, your experience with clearing, um, it'll be nice to help clear your person. But what I'm seeing is that the information that your person um, is gaining now, even though it might be alienating them um, from the third party, if they have a third party, from them, maybe family and friends, it's, it's making sense for them and they're using it to create some kind of new foundation for their life. Because I'm holding the candle in the same spot. I remember it was scattering all over the place. Now it's not. I think it's definitely it, 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 it making sense. Everything is making sense for your person and they're building a new foundation for themselves, especially a new spiritual foundation. I'm going to turn the candle just a bit. Yeah, they're building a new life for themselves, new spiritual beliefs. Your person believes. They believe. Now, they might be in their own little world right now. I think they're trying to protect their energy. But they believe. that. that I think that's the most important question. Um, a message you need to hear about what's happening with them spiritually. They believe. Let's see if there's any other message. I'll turn the candle just a bit. They are being protected at this time by their ancestors. They're creating a kind of covering um, for your person. Because I'm watching how the wax is kind of covering the flame. You can't see. Gosh. Yeah, you see it's kind of covering the flame. Right, so they're, they're receiving some kind of spiritual protection uh, from their spirit guides, ancestors, because um, what they're experiencing is pretty new. Their faith is a little tenuous, but, but the belief is there. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so our question from this part of the reading, um, for the extent it's going to be what has changed, because... I think the last time this candle did not light at all. Okay, so I'm going to blow it out now. I think um, that's the most we're going to get on their spiritual beliefs right now. Okay. All right. See the little hook. <laughs> As I was saying, you can see it very well, but it was kind of covering and protecting the flame. So I like that. So they're, they're, they're getting spiritually covered right now. Okay. Um, let me write down this question so I can remember. Okay, let's see. What were you saying? Oh, yeah, what has changed, right? <laughs> what has changed? And that's the spiritual aspect. No, oh, don't look at my right. It's crappy right now. Okay. We go on to their headspace. Now, usually, I think for, for the two readings that we did before, I have a playlist. You can go and check out the other two candle readings if you like. I think their headspace was kind of scattered. All right. So it's like the brightest frame so far. So your person, <laughs> we're picking up on an overthinker, right? <laughs> this is where their power lies. This is what they usually trust. Um, they trust the mind, what is practical. Okay, but I am getting from that massive flame that came out there. This is about mental clarity, guys. Um... 
your, your there's some kind of truth that your person has downloaded and perhaps that's one of the questions that we can ask we'll see maybe i'm going to get the answer as the, the wax begins to drip but there's some kind of truth that they downloaded let's see what that truth um is all about let me take a fresh spot we'll leave that one there we'll take a fresh spot okay let's see okay now you see how the wax is going towards these people here and towards that person there what i'm getting the truth they download is like they are seeing everybody in their group um that's their inner circle their family work colleagues and everything's kind of going to this side right so it's like there's a divide like look, the, the, your person's kind of drawn a line down the center okay and they've established some kind of boundary now they have friends in their corner but there's a other big group that is against your person so they're finally seeing the truth about this group over here okay and they're realizing that these people are not in their corner they don't have their highest good um, at heart at all i think this is causing a lot of i heard mental anguish mental anguish upon um your person because you know um it means that they have to renegotiate or renavigate um all the relationships in their life it could be their intimate relationships it could be relationships with their family but they have to now separate friend friend from foe that's what i'm getting they have to really see who is really in their inner circle because they're realizing that there are people in their inner circle that's really not in their inner circle. You understand? So they're seeing where their loyalties should lie. They're seeing who really has their back. And it looks like the people that really have their back are far and few in between. They got more haters than friends. Okay, that's what they're realizing. I'm kind of put the, I'm trying to put the candle wax on the line so that they can choose a side. <laughs> yeah, and they got more haters than friends. They, they do. More haters than friends. But there is a core group um, that has stayed with your person through thick and game, through thick and thin. Some of them might be kin. That's why I said kin. So some of them might be family members. Um, and these persons have been really giving your person a lot of support. Um, even in their new um, spiritual beliefs, their outlook on life, their new philosophies. Um, some of these friends have kind of tried to bridge the gap between these people who do not approve of your person and their newfound beliefs and their, their newfound way of life um, and your person. They've tried to act as mediator. But I'm getting there's like a big fallout. Um, in your person's circle, it may even be, we can call it a tower moment, maybe. Um, we'll let, we're going to see what happens when we get to that root chakra ca um, candle. Um, but there's been some kind of big fallout. But your person definitely has allies. And some of these allies are trying to bridge the gap between the haters and the inner circle. Because some of the haters is your person's um, family members. For some of you, these people that are providing support for your person um, in the 3D, um, they are new. They are new friends, okay? It's like your person's vibe um, has changed, like, drastically. So they're attracting a new set of people to them that's really supporting them um, through this time. Um... Some of these people are definitely um, spiritually aligned, okay? So they're supporting your person's spiritual beliefs that way in terms of I might actually be mentoring your person. They're also like forming, I heard it, like hedge of protection around your person. Some of these represent also spirit guides that are protecting your person at, at this time let's 
see. Um, not getting anything else from this candle, guys. Okay, so um, I think we can move on um, to what's going on in the heart space. I'm not getting anything else from this candle, right? All right, so let's pull this one out. I can't even remember the question. What was the question? <laughs> I don't know what the heck the question was, guys. Was it who are these friends? Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to watch back the video. I just lost it. All right. Maybe who are these friends or... um, Oh, what's the truth that they have downloaded? My God. <laughs> Alrighty, but I think we knew, right? So we're gonna see if we get confirmation. All right, so let's have a look now at the heart chakra. I have a green candle, but as like green on green, that's just gonna confuse people. So I'm using pink. Pink for heart healing. Ooh, what's this? All right, so I was going to say not as bright. <laughs> as the others but i don't know it, it proved me wrong let me see if i get i'm gonna put it up here okay so the the art is also blaze this, this is so different from the last time we did this candle wax reading guys half of the candles did not want to light at all so your person on fire this is a this is an this is an awakening there's no doubt about it for me this is an awakening all right so i'm just waiting to see how the waxes form. But from what I'm seeing so far, like the heart is not scattered. Look. The heart is not, it's like the heart knows like what's happening, what's going on. The heart is not um, wrapped up in confusion. The heart knows. And the heart is like centered on one person. So it's, as I said, it's not scattered anywhere. I mean, look at, remember what was happening with the purple car, um, candle, what was happening with a white candle, or all of it was spreading all over the board. I mean, you can see it right now, but that's not happening with the heart and I'm trying to hold it in the same position. They definitely have their heart set on one person or one thing and, and building a relationship with one person. You see, look, the foundation being built there. The heart, the heart is not confused. The heart is not confused at all. I think they're definitely in their heart space. Um, they might be concentrating on heart healing right now. Okay. But the heart is not afraid. see for a moment that little thing was just kind of adrift it's like the heart is not afraid to explore and and take risks look it's moving <laughs> yeah they're right to build something new oh look it's drifting So I think that the feelings that they're feeling right now um, is what's allowing this person to move from where um, they are at and, and seek something new. It's their emotions that's propelling them forward. Because that was the only one that's act that, that was the only candle mass that actually moved, wasn't it? All the others kind of stayed stationary. Yeah, it's moving again. So it's their emotions that are propelling them forward. And it's like two, two bubbles becoming one. So whether you know it or not, like sacred union is taking place. Even if you guys have been in separation, your person's very concentrated on you and how they feel um, about you. And again, big shift from last time. I think the last time the only candle that was blazing was the sacral chakra. <laughs> right so so many big activations for your person right now um including in the heart okay 
I'm not getting anything else from this candle, so we'll blow it, right? Okay. So let us see what's next. Ooh, you even got a touch of wax on my finger there. I got burnt. <laughs> that love is fiery there. Okay. Let's see sacral chakra. Well, this condo never disappoints. <laughs> well, let's see. Hey, what was, what's going on with you today? Okay, maybe I... What? I was, I was wondering what's going on. What's going on here? All right, so let me find a spot in front here. All right, so burning bright from the get-go. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not going to be rude. But um, this candlewick is standing at attention. <laughs> okay, so that, oh, and it's getting even brighter now. And it went straight to the heart mass. Straight to the heart mass. So, I think, did we see this last time? I think we did. Um, so, this person, they're bringing love or emotions into their sexuality. I think before this person was using um, sex sexuality um as actually a buffer so that they wouldn't fall in love so that they wouldn't catch feelings but now this sacral energy is joining with this heart energy here so the object of their desire and the object of their affection is one there's a union there so this is about emotional authenticity that's what i'm getting it also signals um some sort of heart healing or some kind of healing with regard to and let's you know trigger warning maybe um, a sex addiction or sexual abuse is like the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is reconnecting with the heart chakra. For some of you, you're gonna get a text message because I just saw my phone going off there. Okay, and now the sacral chakra is also connecting um, with some of the spiritual drippings. So this is sacred sexuality taking place. The object of their affection is one person, and this sacred, it's reinforcing the message that we got with the first candle, where their sexuality is connected to their spirituality. Whatever intense emotions they're feeling for you, it, it's reinforcing, or yeah, it's reinforcing for them their belief that they're on some kind of spiritual journey with you. I think it's because of the intensity of the emotions. Or the intensity of the feelings. I don't think they've ever felt like this before. Now it's really good looking like a sacral chakra. So this person is very passionate for you. But it's not just about lust. It's also um, about the heart. It's also about spirituality. Yeah, because look, it's now pulling those spiritual drippings there. And gradually making a bridge um, to the heart space. They're joining. I'm trying to hold the candle in one spot, but they're going to join. The heart drippings and the sacral drippings are going, oh God, stay, stay. Join, join. Try and hold it steady. <laughs> it's like one minute inch between those sacral drippings and the heart there's some kind of divide what's blocking 
for some of you, there's something blocking. There's some kind of sacral chakra blockage or someone can be could be interfering because just as they were about to unite a big rift just um appeared it was so weird it's like they had like this between them to just join and then they just separated so maybe you guys even had the opportunity to join not just sexually but to have just a new beginning a new a new start but there's some kind of interference here. So I'm going to ask in the extent of what's the interference. Because these people were about to join. They are about to have some kind of union. And then bam, they just kind of drifted apart. So I'm going to see what that interference was. Okay. I'm not getting anything else from these drippings. Okay. Okay. So the last car, last candle. So I'm going to ask... What's that blockage there with the sexual energy, right? Okay. Okay, and then the last one is the root chakra candle. So we're going to have a look at what might be going on in a person's environment, how they're feeling about themselves. Um, depending on what message comes through for me. Mm, looking for a clear spot for this right now. I'm going to have to put it right in front of maybe um, that is also a message that right now it's root chakra issues that are at the forefront of their mind. Yeah, if I put it right back here, you guys won't see. Okay. All right. So like, this is like the dimmest candle right now. All right. So... In terms of their stability and security um, and the, how they feel about themselves, it things are looking a little grim there. Let's see why. Let's see what's going on. What's going on in their environment, their sense of self, stability. What's happening? Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, it looks like they might be having a bit of money issues right now. Or maybe they were. Now, they are working on a project right now. Something that they think is going to... Pull them out of some kind of financial strain. Mm -hmm. Something that they think is going to help them um, rebuild or build their self-esteem. Something that they think is going to help them manifest what they want in love. Because for a moment that red looked like a heart. Something that they think is going to help them lay a new foundation for themselves and they can experience um, abundance. Now this person is working on their independence right now. I think they might be isolating themselves. Even if they have a karmic, they might be isolating themselves from their karmic right now. And just keeping an eye and working on this particular project. Because they think that this project is the key um, for them getting out of their situation or becoming more independent or feeling better about themselves. This project is more than just money. This project um, is who they are, their sense of self, their self-worth. That's a gecko. Okay, this is about what? Fertility? We're going to find out. I'll find out for you guys. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's one big project. I don't know what creative project this is. But they think that this project... It's going to rebuild some kind of tower that they just went through. Mm -hmm. They're putting their blood, sweat, and tears into this project, I can tell you. Um, they might be even overworking themselves because they are focused on this. They think that this is the key. This is the key to solving all their problems right now. That's what they think. 
to help to get themselves out of some, out of some kind of sticky situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that? They're in like divine feminine energy right now because weirdly enough, this kind of wax to me looks like a watering can. There's something that they are nurturing. So they're in that creative energy, but they're nurturing some sort of product. For some of them, it might be something agricultural. But whatever it is, it's, it's something that they want to do on their own by themselves like they have something to prove they think that this project doing well um in this creative endeavor is going to allow them to reach out to you bloody gecko guys tell me down below what is um um gecko spirit all about because this is like the third this is the second time he's uh, made noise during this reading. Um what else? No. I definitely think this is their main focus right now. This and their spirituality. It looks like that's the main focus right now. They're they're, they're busy working, building some kind of empire or some shit. But they're very focused um on their work. Okay. So I can ask what that project is all about. So if you feel like this, like reinforce some of the things that you are getting already in your psyche, I'm um, an intuitively join me in extended and I'll go through in the tarot. Some of um, we'll clarify some of the things that we got. What's that last thing? Okay. Well, the project. <laughs> right. So we're going to ask these questions, see what we come up with. And then I'll pull an oracle card of advice for you guys, okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you guys. Grateful for your likes, share, subscribes. Take care. Bye.